Germany's cool new tank can outperform every other tank in the world. The KF-51, also known as the Panther, is equipped with new technology, including a larger main gun, a digital computer backbone, and a comprehensive suite of defensive features. The Panther even has the capability to counter so-called high-strike munitions, such as the American-made Javelin missiles, which decimated Putin's army in Ukraine. On Monday, Dusseldorf, Germany-based Rheinmetall, a weapons manufacturing company, unveiled the KF-51 Panther at France's Eurository Arms Show. This exhibition, which is held every two years, is a showcase for European weapons manufacturers to advertise their latest equipment. Rheinmetall unveiled the Panther, pictured at the top of this story, featuring a gray, black and neon yellow digital camouflage pattern. If the name Panther is familiar, that's because it is. The Panzerkampfwagen V, also known as the Panther, was designed in 1942 to fight Russian tanks, including the T-34 medium tank. The Panther was one of the best tanks of the war, but was severely hobbled by mechanical and reliability problems. The Panther debuted at the Battle of Kursk in 1943, and served on both the Eastern and Western fronts, including D-Day and the Battle of the Bulge. The KF-51 was the successor to the Leopard 2, the contemporary American M1 Abrams tank. The Leopard 2 debuted in the early 1980s and is still in service today with more than a dozen armies around the world. The Leopard 2 was continuously improved over the decades, with the most recent version being the German Army's Leopard 2A7. Unfortunately, as with many upgraded systems, there eventually comes a time when it becomes impractical to keep adding new things to the old system. The only way forward is to design something completely new. The Panther was the new tank. It appears to use the basic Leopard 2 hull design, although the shape of the hull suggests newer, thicker armor on the front and sides. The Panther retains the Leopard 2 lines above the engine compartment, but with a pronounced bulge. That said, the Panther reportedly still has a 1,100 kilowatt, 1,500 horsepower engine, the same amount of power as the Leopard 2, so there probably isn't much difference in the power package. The big question is whether anyone needs a new tank like the expensive KF-51. The Panther's turret was larger with sharper angles and a much larger overhang in the engine compartment the latter housing larger and heavier main gun ammunition and acting as a counterweight to the new 130mm main gun. The KF-51 was the first production tank to be equipped with a 130mm main gun, which was a breakthrough from the current 120mm standard. <laughs>